Let's talk carbidopa levodopa. This is a really interesting one to me because of the way that it works and how um, directly specific these Parkinsonian medications have to be. So carbidopa levodopa, trade name Cinemet. Okay, this is a Parkinson's disease medication. So we give it for patients who have Parkinson's disease. Now, the way that it works, remember, Parkinson's is a neurological disorder, okay? It's something that's going on within the brain. Remember, we have this blood-brain barrier, right? And so in order to get medications to cross this blood-brain barrier and to have effect within the brain, it's very important that we're able to kind of get through that blood-brain barrier. Now, and, and the blood-brain barrier, don't think of the blood-brain barrier as like this wall or this fence like at the brain stem that, that prevents things from getting through. It's just a different way that uh, blood vessels and things and cells in the, in, the, in the brain actually work. Okay, so in order to cross that to get into there, we have to uh, give different kinds of medications and different things. So what happens is levodopa is converted to dopamine. Uh, and works as a neurotransmitter, okay? So we're giving this levodopa portion of carbidopa levodopa to actually work as dopamine, and that works as a neurotransmitter and, and thereby kind of subsides these uh, Parkinson's symptoms, okay? And carbidopa, what it does is it prevents the destruction of levodopa and allows it to cross the blood-brain barrier. So without this carbidopa attached to this levodopa, we're not able to get the medication that we need where it needs to be and to work, okay? So that's kind of how it works. The levodopa is the portion that actually uh, is converted to dopamine and works as a neurotransmitter, and the carbidopa is, is the portion that allows it to get to where it needs to be. So therapeutic class is anti-Parkinsonian agent, and pharmacologic class is dopamine agonist, okay? Now, some nursing considerations to keep in mind here is that we want to uh, monitor our patient's blood pressure. This can cause orthostatic hypotension. So let the patient know as they stand up that it could cause this hypotension. It can cause dark urine. It takes weeks to months for this to actually take effect and to work. So let the patient, the family know that, that taking this medication regularly and as instructed is very important because it, it's not going to take effect overnight. Okay. And with a lot of medications, we don't want to use this with MAOIs. We don't want to use it with patients who have glaucoma or melanoma. And like we said, we really want the patient to take the medication exactly as instructed. And we're going to want to assess the patient for these Parkinsonian symptoms. What are Parkinsonian symptoms? What are we going to see in our patient, okay? With our Parkinson's patient, we're going to see this decrease in facial expressions. They're going to have... Um, Difficulty starting and controlling movement. So a lot of times you'll tell them to kind of rock, to kind of get out of a chair. Um, and so it'll, it'll take them a lot of effort to get going with a specific movement. And they're going to have a lot of difficulty controlling it. So what dopamine allows us to do neurologically is it helps us to kind of control our movements. Okay. And so when we have this uncontrolled movements, we, we give these medications to kind of help with that. They may have loss or weakness of movement and paralysis, soft speech, um, stiffness in their in their arms and legs. They may have they're going to have these tremors, right? Um, as they reach for things and stuff like that, they're going to have these tremors that are uncontrolled. Uh, and so this is why we're giving this medication. This dopamine works as a neurotransmitter to help control these medic these uh, tremors and things like that. So we're going to want to be assessing these uh, Parkinsonian symptoms and we're going to want to be watching are they improving, are they getting better um, after weeks to months of taking this medication. Okay, so that's really how Carbidopa Levodopa works. Really fascinating medication, interesting medication to learn about and to understand. This has been another episode of the Med Master Podcast brought to you by MedMasterCourse.com and NRSNG.com. My name is John Haas, RN, CCRN, student nurse mentor and your biggest fan if you're ready to demolish nursing pharmacology once and for all head over to medmastercourse.com and use the coupon code podcast to save 15 percent on lifetime membership to medmaster course medmaster course is packed full of 30 plus hours of hd video and audio content with tons and tons of free cheat sheets and downloads Demolish nursing pharmacology. Never guess a med again. Go to medmastercourse.com. Coupon code podcast. You guys know what time it is now. Go out and do something great. Happy nursing. Happy nursing.